the abscess on the back. I broke that open. What I'm trying to do is what I call trench, detrench the bone, which is you know pretty delicate, pretty pretty strange. The bone goes up to the tooth like this, and then in this little area is crud. And then it's hard to also, also there's a, sometimes a layer of calculus covering the bone that, that that makes it look like the bones like this, but that's not really the case. Really, the bones more like that. So you got to somehow get the curette into there, and that's ultimately the only thing that is going to stop this is to detrench it. And it's the most I wouldn't say it's the most treacherous. If you do everything else, it's not so hard. And that, again, gets back to the whole idea of doing everything except the most important thing. Save that for last. And then also I can do the detrenching later, too. But it's better if I do it now. There. See? Look at that. Just stick the thing in there and it starts to lead. Let's try to smooth this out. There. Let's just, let, let's just stick the thing in there. Let's, let's lead. Huh. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, let's just let this let it lead. No, certainly there's a lot of unsmoothness here. Huh, it's this thing. Look at that. <laughs> well, well, well. What do we have here? Uh huh. <laughs> what do we have here? Well, 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 what do we have here? We got ourselves a, we got ourselves a nice big, big nasty little thing, don't we? Look at that. Okay, so, so this is, this is a major part of the abscess right there. So, very, very fortunate I got that thing to come loose. See, the other important issue here, huh, what's this? Oh, uh, unfortunately the gum sort of broke loose too. Okay, so that's not good. It's going to fail anyway. Okay, so I'll just hold it in place. I just forget it. I'll just do what it does. It is what it is. Okay? There's an abscess in there and that's just that. You got to you got to you got to make your call. What do you want to do? You want to get rid of the abscess or you want to preserve a little piece of gum? Okay, what I want to do now I want to smooth the tooth in that area. I could use the sickle. At this point, I want to start to mellow out here. Because what's happening now is it's sort of interesting that they're leasing now. We sort of had a chance to regroup, and now it's just pouring out. Huh, look at that. More large. Blobs, multiple large blobs. Okay, well this is very positive. So one way or another, this thing is going to go. I don't have to smooth it today, you know. This thing is more blobs. Okay. Now some of this could just be a clotted blood. You know, I can't say for sure. This is just like stuff that was sitting under there waiting to come out. But in the sense of this being clotted blood, what it would be, would be blood came in to the abscessed area, mixed in with what was there. And then now, it's coming out. Okay, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at these blobs. And then let's try to work a clean, a clean plate here. Okay, here are, this is from the back of the molar. The abscess on the back. These are four major blobs. Okay, I would, you know, offhand say that any one of those blobs could support an abscess. You know, this is turning into a big deal. I'm just going to use the langer, just, as long as it's bleeding. See, you can see the one on the back is definitely liberated. The one on the front is more questionable. Just stick the thing in there, just like that. Just agitate. Just like that. Here. Look, there's another one. Another big nasty. Anyway, like I said, the, the the original concern was the front abscess. 
I surrounded the front abscess. I wanted to try to get as much as the tooth as I can, so almost as a source of procrastination. I went to the back, started getting the back. Turned out there was an abscess back there that was that was uh, pretty big. Certainly the back one, it wants to bleed some, and I want to try to help it. And what you can figure is going to happen is that this will bleed for up to several hours. And then once it bleeds clean, you can't say for sure, it's not like completely gone, but it's definitely a good start. I can do any cleanup. That's a good thing too. But see, there's like a giant blob. But the, you know, more important than the scraping are these giant blobs. And now these could be blood. See, these could be big blobs of blood that have gone in and coagulated rather than things that were there before. But you could look at it this way. In the process of co coagulating, they absorbed nasty things. It certainly looks ugly now, but once it stops bleeding, it's not going to look so ugly. 